Scientology is someone who can look at the world and really see what it is. Not only look at it and see it, but be able to go and be effective and do something about it. Uh, and someone who's not asking permission to do that. Why ask permission? We are the authorities. And nothing says that better than the Mr. Cruz response to the wake-up call in the aftermath of 9-11. Now, of course, if you're Tom Cruise, just lending your name to a cause can generate more energy than most people hope for in a lifetime. But he never merely lends his name. If he takes a stand, it's pedal to the metal till the finish line. As in helping New York firemen. He first saw the dust and heard the cough when descending to the ruins and where he bolstered morale among firemen. The devastation had spread an unprecedented combination of toxins through the air, and it was lethal. All they were doing was medical screening. Nobody was aggressively treating these people to give them a better quality of life. The EPA came out and said the air was clean. And of course, as a Scientologist, you go, that's a lie. Outpoint lie, you know, you just go, liar, fine. It was the ground zero call and nobody knew the cure. And while he could have provided a statement in support, that's not how Tom drives. Rather, he personally saw to the establishment of a first New York Hubbard detox project. And no, he did not ask permission. Finally, you know, we just say, you know what, damn it. You know, just go there and do it. Just put it there, let's go. Here's the money, let's go. Let's just get one person through there. You know, I can't sleep another night. And as the first of those firemen moved through the program, those toxins became visible again. It was the color purple, and it was oozing from their pores. It took weeks, sometimes months. But with those firemen no longer confronting a life of inhalers and steroids, their grateful response said it all. To our brother L. Ron Hubbard from your brothers at the New York City Fire Department, we honor you with this helmet, a symbol of our motto protect life and property, which is the legacy of your technology and body. And that's why, with the purification program as the only cure in sight, Tom next organized a fundraiser to bring it on even more. And while the mere weight of his name drew donations from the likes of Jerry Seinfeld, Adam Sandler, Jim Carrey, and Paul McCartney, it was still upfront and personal when presenting L. Ron Hubbard's purification program to the world. And before the night was over, he had not only held the largest fundraiser for LRH Tech in history, but he provided for a second detox center. And with word of successes spreading, he'd also led the way to the first ever U.S. government grant for a Purif program. But what matters to Tom Cruise are not the numbers. It's the people. Tom takes it to another level. Tom's taking it to a, an extreme level. I can't believe how he sacrifices and what he does for his programs. And now to get to know him a little bit, I realize that he's not just doing this because he's the man. He's doing this because he truly believes in it. And he has a passion to help people with the programs that he's involved in. This city tends to beat you down to a nub. And uh, I don't think that Tom's the type of guy to get beat down to a nub. So uh, it's pretty impressive that it's been going like a big tidal wave now. He looked like the type of person that would turn over any rock to get the job done and bring the help to the people who needed it in New York City. And I was right. For once, in <laughs> all the track, we have tools that we can apply to ourselves and apply to others. And I'm telling you, it's like you know the tech and you apply it correctly and it's KSW, you're gonna get improvements, period. Punctuating that one is Tom Cruise at the Hollywood Education and Literacy Project, one-on-one -on -one with kids from the neighborhood. But with illiteracy swamping whole communities, he was soon fueling LRH learning centers all over the map. Then there's the National Mentoring Partnership, attended by corporate and entertainment leaders, and when they gave him an award, Tom's acceptance speech was an education in itself. First barrier to study is a lack of mass when you're studying. And were that not enough, he next conducted the high-level talks where America's schooling agenda is shaped, literally. 
because Tom presented all LRH learning tools to the U.S. Department of Education. We had these huge books I'd never seen before on study tech that I'd also never heard of. And this man came in by himself and explained through his heart what concerned him most about the fact that young people in this country don't know how to learn. They don't know how to study. He says, hey man, here it is. This is a study tech. Boom. And I'm telling you, people want help. While to show the department how it's done, he invited them down to Spanish Lake. And Mr. Cruz wasn't just the keynote speaker. He opened the place as a prelude to driving LRH study tech everywhere. My mission is to make study technology available for everyone who wants to reach for it. Any group, any person, any teacher, any mentor, any parent, every child, anyone. And with that word spreading on every network and print media worldwide, Applied Scholastics was training government teachers from the U.S. to Bazana with new centers opening by the day. And from there, it's unrelenting. From inspiring graduating classes at Delphi and to places you'd never imagine. At NASA, for example, where he brought on study tech to boost broad public support because people won't support what they don't understand. And that's why you now find the glossary of difficult terms on the NASA homepage website, courtesy of NASA spokesman Tom Cruise. Then again, there's Tom opposite a Japanese prime minister. America's Samurai presents an LRH learning book while cameras roll. And it not only hits front page across three continents and fires two LRH titles to bestseller lists, it launches five new Applied Scholastics learning centers in four weeks flat. While to provide the rest of the world with an inkling of what LRH technology holds, he presented the three barriers to study in the highest circulation glossy on earth. And what with spin-offs in TV, print, and radio, the tally of those he reached with StudyTech soon topped 250 million. <laughs>